This is a hack for a tabletop tripod. It's not actually a tripod, but it's going to do the job of a tripod. Uh, I'm looking for something that I could use on the tabletop at about 14 inch height from the table so that it would naturally fall into my hands with my elbows on the table so that I can take pictures out of the window uh, of the birds and, and wildlife and so on. Um, but something that can stay there on the table all day and I can connect a remote control to and actually use a remote shutter release so that I can be working on the laptop that will stay where it is, pre-focused in position on wherever I want it and then I can either take a picture from the, the remote control or I can grab the camera and position it pre-focused and take a picture. Now all the tripods I looked at were very short and very small and they really didn't look up to, to carrying the weight of a heavy camera. This is three quarters of a kilogram. It's quite a heavy camera, especially with the lens out. It just makes it very awkward. And it needs to be very stable and very strong. And the only thing I could come up with was something similar to this, which is basically a stem with a plate on the bottom that you could put uh, the camera onto, hopefully attached with some sort of head, tripod head. The trouble with that is most of the things that I looked at were too high. They would put the camera too high. So I thought I'd have to make it myself. This is what I've come up with. I wanted to use a tripod joystick um, head. I find them very easy to use with just one hand. So I can put the camera in. And then whilst I'm positioning it, I can have my hand on the camera and adjust whatever settings I need to pre-focus and take pictures while I'm actually maneuvering the camera as well as when it's locked up. So that's the head that I wanted to use. So I've got very limited room here now because that's where I want to have it. It needs to be something which is fairly short around underneath. It must be stable, very strong and support this adequately and be able to position it anywhere on the table. So this is what I come up with. A brake disc from a mountain bike, MTB or cross bike or whatever. They come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. This is an 8 inch one, 203 millimeter. Um, it's very light, it's actually steel, but you can get aluminium ones. So that would be my plate for the table, which would make a nice firm base and that can be moved around obviously, it doesn't take up much room, it's very thin, you can put things on top of it, it's perfect, it's just, just what I needed. Then I thought, how am I going to convert that to the tripod? So what I thought was, I'd use the right part, a mountain bike, or all terrain bike, hub. This is a front hub, it's obviously got to match, so it's got to be a brake disc hub, and that just bolts to it like that. So now all you need to do is to get one of these, they're about seven or eight pounds on eBay, um, this is a cheap one, just a cheap Shimano one. Now we need to do is just take the gubbins out of it, so I've already loosened this. We need to take the axle and the cones out and all the ball bearings. We'll do this quickly. And you're left with that. Which when it fixes onto there, becomes your base for the tripod. Right? So then what you need is you need some of these little babies, these little stainless steel screws which actually fix that. So let's just try to fix a couple. Just to prove that it actually well. We won't put them all in. I think probably two will be sufficient to show you how it's going to work. There's our special driver. One. That's two. Right, I'll just do those loosely for now to show you the principle of it. There's our base. Now obviously this is going to wobble because it's got the bolts underneath. You're going to have six of them. But I thought of that. What you'll need to do is remove all the ball bearings from the middle and just remove the this bit, which is just the bit that holds the ball bearings in. Actually this one can stay. It doesn't really matter, but I remove them all. And then what you need is you need a special bolt which will fit into a 3.8 head, um, a, a tripod head, and in camera world that's 3.8, so I had to look for a special 3.8 bolt, which is 4 inches long, so it's a 4 inch 3.8 bolt, which will screw directly in the bottom of my tripod, which it does. So now, let's put the bolt in the bottom there, you just need a plain washer for the top, and then you need a 3.8 nut, and 
I hope we've got these for the front here. Yes, that's an Allen key. 3 8 Allen key. Actually, that is. 3 8 is it? It's a metric. But whatever. Right, and then tighten that up. I'm not going to bother to tighten this completely, but just to give you the idea. Right. So now we've got the base. To that, we can attach the tripod. You will, you will have to cut that um, bolt down possibly, and I might even have to grind the nut down. Or what I might do is get a plain washer, which will sit over the top, to just um, give it a good base to screw into. So now we screw our tripod into that. That's it. Now, because this is very wobbly, that's not going to be much good, is it? So what I do is I've got some of these. These little babies, they're rubber feet which go on the bottom of hi-fi units. And they should be about perfect for this. So just put a few of these on. On the bottom, space them out a bit. And like as if it was a hi-fi unit or something like that. And that will now actually cushion that against the table to protect the tabletop and also it will give you a nice rigid solid base. And how about that? Fantastic. So now I can put the camera in the tripod, I can manoeuvre it around, I can place that anywhere on the table that I want, set it up, put the remote shutter release in and I can just hold the shutter release, watch the LCD screen on the back of my camera and when I see something land on the, the spot where I've been um, focusing on, just press the shutter release. I can press that and I can have um, motion release, um, burst mode and, and anything I want really, um, video, whatever. And I can place it anywhere on the table, it's going to take up very little room. But also, if I want to take some pictures handheld, I can also do that now because that's a perfect height for me to see into the electronic viewfinder. So now I can actually use this to rest my elbows and hold it steady and firm, position the camera and take pictures. Excellent, that's exactly what I wanted. It doesn't weigh too much, it doesn't take up any room at all, it's quite stable. You could go slightly larger if you want to, it's a little bit wobbly, but then with the remote release I think that's going to be fine. And how cheap is that? I think it cost about 15 quid. You just need a 3.8 bolt, 3.8 nut, maybe a couple of plain washers, maybe a large washer, you need the bottom uh, a brake disc rotor from the mountain bike. Uh, you can get them second hand. This is a second hand one. It costs five quid. Most people probably got them knocking around in the shed. And some feet, some little rubber feet to protect the work uh, the worktop or the tabletop or whatever you're going to use. And you've got yourself a nice little tripod for the table. Also, you don't need to use this kind of um, tripod head. You could obviously use a, um, a smaller head, you know whatever you want. So I hope that's helpful to somebody.